back when 1.8 JPEG, i.e. the Synthetic Dawn update came to us, everybody was rejoicing about the wonders of machine worlds. Finally, you could turn an entire celestial body into a pure machine. And that right there is something that a lot of people were very excited about, but some of them were also really upset and they would never want to talk about it ever again. However, machine worlds are in fact a thing. And for the longest time, so I've been told, uh, Paradox has been asked, hey, if I start out as a robot race, and I'm not overthrowing my, uh, you know, my fleshling uh, overseers. Could I start on a machine world? Yes. Yes, that's now possible with the resource consolidation origin. Resource consolidation is the one and only origin to come as of right now with synthetic dawn and is relatively straightforward you start off on a machine world which is arguably pretty powerful because machine worlds by themselves are basically an empty canvas similar to what the game is it is a canvas you can paint anything on in this particular case you can paint your districts on this planet no longer will you will have to worry about the issues of only having so many districts available in one place no you can put as many uh, mining districts on a planet as it supports, or energy districts, or other districts. Of course, not any of the food districts, because, well, robots don't do farming unless you're a rogue servitor, which also means that rogue servitors cannot start out with resource consolidation. Sorry, rogue servitor fans, I know it's a really, really fun start, but it's not available to the joys of of resource consolidation but yeah it's relatively straightforward you start off on a planet let's dive in to see what it looks like and what you can do with resource consolidation so here we are our solar system where we've started out and we've in fact consolidated all of our resources what does that mean well we spawn with nothing but broken worlds within our empire even this adorable tiny one over here look at that it's tiny! It's so cute. I'm guessing this was supposed to be a gas world, but once you generate the system under this origin, it just turns into a gigantic tomb world, which I think is pretty awesome. And of course, there's a whole bunch of other ones there as well. The backstory here is, well, we have basically taken all the valuable resources from every single planet in our solar system, apparently including this asteroid belt, but that's a whole different question. And we have, in fact, dumped it on consolidated resources, which produces 25 minerals um, on your home world, which is pretty powerful, to say the least. But it does also mean that there are no additional resources within our solar system. No science, no energy, no minerals. Oh, not even any alloys. You'll have to go out there into space to get those. Now, what is the main issue here? Well, there is not really a main issue here at all. Because if we go to our capital of Cybertron, uh, as you can see, uh, they have we have all of these mining districts. Now, right now, we have eight districts that we can still build, and they can be of any flavor we want. We are not locked in to only being able to so, uh, build the districts available to us. So let's say, for instance, we go to Vector Sigma. In this particular case, we can only build two mining districts or three agricultural districts. With Machine Worlds, we are not hampered by these issues. And, of course, those disgusting farming districts are no longer there. Those fleshling resources, we no longer need them. Now, is this powerful? Absolutely. Machine worlds by themselves are one of the more powerful abilities uh, in the game. It's right up there with Ecumenopoly and Hive worlds in terms of produ uh, production c capacity on a planet, which is really nice. I, I, I do like this change. However, there is something that we need to talk about, and that is the... Machine worlds have been robbed, or at least the machine empires have been robbed. Something has been taken away from them. As you can see, once we scroll through this list, the maintenance depots are in fact gone. No more maintenance uh, depots for machine empires, which is 
challenging because it means that you're going to need to prioritize a couple of things why well it looks like all the maintenance depots have been in fact merged with the nexus districts maintenance drones have been set up inside of nexus districts which means that you're going to need to prioritize nexus jobs in order to make sure that you have enough amenities yes apparently robots need microwaves and flat screen tvs as well I'm sure it's just parts and stuff like that to be able to function properly and have high stability. How do you do this? Well, we just go to our population tab, go to our menial drones, and we look at our maintenance drones right here. And we make sure that, uh, well, we have this little thing here. We're going to select it and make sure that we have enough maintenance drones applied to this setup. And that means that we can get enough pops here working. For instance, if we set it over here towards mining, all of a sudden we won't have enough resources available. And as you can see, uh, once the month ticks over, we're going to be running out of amenities on this planet, particularly rapidly, which is not all that great. So yeah, always make sure that you have your machine drones maxed out. Well, we can actually set it up here with tech drones. It's probably better illustrated. There you go. As our amenities drop, which is going to lower our stability System quite rapidly, and we want to make sure that is not the case. So yeah, if you're playing with machine empires now, always make sure that you've uh, got enough maintenance drones on your planets. In addition, there's a couple of cool starts that you can do with this rapid replicator as well as constructor bot. Um, especially constructor bot being able to really cheaply build districts and upkeep as well and of course pop assembly speed which is absolutely great pops are life in any species and in addition you can always go with versatility and go for uh, this particular one which is uh, it's the versatility the adoption effect which is t uh, pop assembly costs being reduced by 10% in addition to the hot join protocols which adds an additional 10% and you can really start to crank out those pops it's uh it's really good right now already 4.14 pops a month out of 100 that is pretty pretty quickly or pretty pretty rapidly now obviously you're just like so can we turn any of our other worlds into machine worlds well here on vector sigma if we look at our decisions uh there is no such thing as trying to turn this planet into a machine world right now no machine worlds are still relegated to the wonders of the following yes you'll need to get the ascension perk in order to get more machine worlds and of course you need climate restoration for that which is a relatively expensive technology i think it's tier four maybe even tier five in order to get this particular ascension perk but in the meantime considering you don't have to worry and deal with maintenance depots anymore it means that you can just crank out research labs and alloy foundries uh which is pretty good speaking of alloy foundries uh yeah uh, robots are now uh they now cost um alloys to be produced which is pretty interesting it's it's pretty expensive to make sure all of that stuff is up and running but yeah Resource consolidation. It is a interesting new start. It is pretty powerful all by itself. And it adds good flavor. If you're a machine empire, starting off as a machine world is fun. It's good and it makes perfect sense if you're not, for instance, Skynet or Rogue Servitors. Because obviously they need food districts and all that stuff. And just building up your resources over time before you start heading out. I guess makes perfect sense. But it's a shame that we cannot just go and strip down entire solar systems worth of resources for instance here over at vector sigma and unicron we cannot strip these planets down for more consolidated resources there's also no additional events or uh, empire-wide modifiers available for resource consolidation which is uh it's a shame but i guess it makes sense starting with a machine world is a nice and light addition for synthetic dawn I want to thank you all so much for watching this video about resource consolidation. I've said that word so many times now that uh, I'm actually, my mouth is slowly but steadily starting to fill with saliva, which is probably not the best thing to say towards a public that is uh, so keenly, keenly watching this. But yeah, uh, resource consolidation, try to say that five times in a row very quickly. It's very challenging. Speaking of challenging, have you heard of my Patreon? It's pretty cool. A lot of cool people hang out there and it directly supports the channel. If you want to get involved with it, feel free to sign up with the link down in the description. We're having a lot of good fun there and uh, making sure that uh, these videos can continue to be made because you, the viewer, makes all of that possible. 
and this and the patreon helps with that of course as well we're gonna go wrap it up here if you do not have synthetic dawn i do highly recommend for you to go and grab it there is a link down in the description below uh, it takes you to the paradox store uh, be please be aware that i do get a share of that revenue so yeah there we go thank you so much for watching and until next time take good care of yourselves and as always giant machine